it uh, has not stopped raining. Good morning, everyone. 721. That so made me drop everything. Sorry, <laughs> babe. Off the handle. You grab that? Yeah, thank you. You want to say uh, good morning to everyone? Good morning, everyone. Being that it's raining, things are kind of coming together. Not everything is completely together, but we think we're going to go ahead and unveil what we've been holding from you guys all year for good reasons. Uh, we did not want to release early and yeah, we still got a lot here we got to do this morning, running errands wise, picking things up. And when we get back to the house, we're going to go ahead and assemble and we're going to show you what we've been working on since one week before what, TQ? COVID. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Literally, we launched this one week before the COVID hit in what, 2019, 2020, whatever that yeah. was. And then obviously things shutting down, we kind of had to shut down. We got delayed and that took, what, probably 16 months, I'd say, year and a half took almost. a little while, yeah. Before things really picked back up and we were able to uh, get things rolling in the right direction. Fast forward, you know, almost three years later and we're to the point where we're proud of what we've built, we've tested and we've tried, we've broke stuff, we've had people people using this behind the scenes testing breaking stuff uh, because every user is different and what they choose to do with certain things is different but yeah without further ado we got to get in here and uh got to do the business thing and we're going to bring you along for what we can and stick around we're super proud of this we're i can't even explain to you guys we're not 100 there yet but we're almost there and we have a lot more big news. This is probably going to be the biggest video we've released all year. So stick around. And I will say this is something that Sean's been wanting to do for a long time, well before 2019-20. So it's always been something in his mind and, you know, to see him put it all out in, you know, blood, sweat, tears, all the, the hours, sleepless nights. Like, I want to commend him for doing this like it's it's awesome thank you babe and yeah. you had a huge part in this as well uh i can't explain to you guys the the amount of work that's had to go into this so here is the first load any ideas what's in there what could be in there what could be under there <laughs> all right so still raining here tq went ahead and dropped the tailgate for us we're here at our manufacturers what's on this and what will be all be unveiling this is just gonna be one all built right here in the good old United States Thank you. Here, we'll bring you guys in real close. Real close. What? Can you, can you see? Can you, can you see? see oh, you can't. Oh, man, just such good packaging, you know? You have to stay with us. You got to stay with us? The video. <laughs> to find out what it is. We're going to get out of the rain. <laughs> Next stop on our little adventure. What this is, is very valuable. And it's an asset to our company and where we're going. And yeah, if you want quality, you can't show them that to you. We can't see it? You can't, you can't see that. Here, ah. I'll give you guys a little hint. Okay, this is just one of them. The little teaser here, okay? It's one. So this is just one, okay? So caution, operate with door closed. Okay. That's all you get, guys. Stay tuned. There's more into this box, though. I promise you. Way more than this. Bigger, too. Bigger. Cut it more. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. This is like Christmas Day for TQ and myself. And honestly, I, I can't believe we're here. Like, we're not there yet where we want to be or where we're going to go but we're here we're we're now 
we have a finished product. I know we kind of hinted earlier this morning, uh, we drove a long way to get these. And uh, it took us a long time to get to this point. Like I explained to you guys, trial and error, testing, breaking, uh, things not working out, resourcing, finding uh, you know top quality products, stuff like that to use. Uh, I'll be honest with you, a spring is a pain in the butt. I'll say it like that. A spring is a pain in the butt. And going through the, the patent processing part of this and uh, learning that whole side of things and, you know, getting declined and then moving on and figuring out what we need to do to go that route and trademarking, like everything, uh, you know, you just got to do everything. There's so much there. Packaging, foam. Uh, what else am I missing, TQ? I mean, there's so much insurance. Uh, Decal, decals. Yeah, decal, uh, sourcing materials. Logoing. Yeah, logoing. Shop build that we don't have yet. This was all a part of that original creation. The storage facility. The storage facility is originally a part of this overall plan and I know I've explained to a bunch of you that there was a long-term plan and it was just going to take a time a long time for it to become known because there's so many things coming into play so we bought the storage facility yes as an asset but we also bought it because we know we're going to have to store a ton of product there now we're 100 occupied no we have one unit uh this just, just came available we were running the auto zone uh, and they were storing stuff in two units and they no longer need them because their storage place got done. So we rented one yesterday and we have one available, but going off topic, uh, the storage facility though was a part of this overall plan. We knew we were going to need a place to store boxes and material and just, you know, different things. All right. I could sit here and talk about the entire process. It's been almost three years in the making. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more that comes out in the next week or so, maybe the next few days, depending on how everything goes uh, with things with this. So without further ado, let's open it up and we're going to get set up and do our thing. So I'm not sure how they package this exactly, but straight wrap's got to come All right, let me dig through here. Okay, okay, so we'll start here. Here you go, TQ. No, not light whatsoever. Here's some bars for you. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, this is so cool. Like, <sighs> crazy. Here's a handle for you. Here's five more handles for you, or four more, however many there. That box has just got accessories. Uh-oh. They might see it a little bit. Might see a little bit. <laughs> this is so cool. All right. Let's go ahead and unload these. We're going to go more into depth with these here in just one second.
So here you have it. Clearly this is a shoot blocker. If you don't know what a shoot blocker is, simply it goes on the side of your mower on the deck opening side and this will close and stop the grass from spraying against a house, car, mulch beds, towards TQ whenever we're mowing. That's an example of what a shoot blocker does. So I know a bunch of you are going to wonder, will this fit on all kinds of mowers? As of right now, because this is our first product launch, this will only go on the Toro Grandstand Multiforces, okay? So if you have, I believe it's a 16 to present day, the decks haven't changed, this will fit on your regular Grandstand, and this will also fit on to your Toro Grandstand Multiforces. It's a complete bolt-on package, there's no drilling into your deck, simply you can install this thing very, very quickly. When will they be available for purchase? TQ and myself, we've decided that if you place an order and you can deal with us in our growing process here <laughs> as we're launching this product, we will do special online ordering if you have a Toro Grandstand or Multiforce platform. So you can email us at OneSpencerProducts at gmail.com. OneSpencerProducts at gmail.com. Yes. I'll put a link down in the description as well. Like I said, bear with us. We do have an inventory as of right now, but I'm anticipating they're going to go very quickly. And I want to say that it's the number one Spencer products at gmail.com. We'll put it here on the screen. And we're going to be aiming to be in every Toro dealership throughout the country and then eventually be in every dealership throughout the country for a multitude of platforms, different mowers, different mower brands. Next question is going to be, what is the name of it? So. TQ and myself, we are launching our own product line under spencerproducts.com. That's not up and ready just yet. Like I said, we're working through this entire process. This is a huge stepping stone and a lot more work than either one of us ever anticipated. But our shoot blocker is going to be called... Flex Shoot. The Flex Shoot. So you might be wondering, what's the flex? Well, you know, whenever you uh, flex a little bit with your arm, that's kind of where we came up with it. And also we were trying some different products uh, along the way, some springs and uh, you know different cables and stuff. You've probably seen them on the channel and I know a ton of you've been asking us, what shoot blocker are we using? And trust me, I wanted to answer you guys and say our own shoot blocker, our flex shoot, but I couldn't. Because, Sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the time yet. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of legality stuff you have to work through as well insurance, everything, a whole host of it. Anyways, you guys are about to watch us put our very first sticker on our very first shoot blocker. And I want to say, if you notice any real heavy scratches on this one, I did drop it. <laughs> so yeah, Anna dropped it in the gravel driveway. These are powder coated. Everything we possibly could is sourced right here in the United States of America, built in the United States of America. And, uh, we're absolutely super, super proud of it. So bear with us. TQ and myself are going to put the first one on here. Uh, we have figured out very quickly we need to create a template to put the rest of the 100 on here and uh, because this is very time consuming. So I want to stress to you guys, this is not another company's product. Any product you see on Spencer products as of right now is going to be built by TQ and myself, sourced, and then manufactured here in the United States. That's our overall goal. We just really wanted to keep it here in the United States and try to provide jobs for Americans and source everything right here. And uh, and somewhere where we can be hands-on as well. We can go to the, the property and be hands-on and kind of be there and help out, I guess. All right, so real quick, I almost forgot, September 1st, the Flex Shoot will be available in Schlebach Engines in Apple Creek, Ohio only, okay? Only in that dealership exclusively. Schleybos has been so loyal to us, we want to be loyal to them and give them the first opportunity for their customers that come in there. And don't forget about the Toro Fleet program I told you about yesterday. The Toro Multiforce went from four points up to six points. And if you buy an attachment, that immediately puts you at seven points, which gets you into the Fleet program and saves you 21%. As of right now, we don't have exactly the MSRP because we're still finalizing everything. Uh, but we're going to be probably right in the 349 range. And that's aiming towards the top tier because we believe this is a top product. We're putting our brand onto it. We think it's right there with the best, if not the best in the market, but only time will tell. And we understand as well, we may run into some issues. You may run into some issues, but we're putting our word and our handshake and 
who we are as Spencer Lawn Care behind our own product here. And if there are any issues, we are going to take care of them and resolve it 100% because you know, there's obviously going to be unforeseen things that pop up, but we've been testing this ourselves on our mowers for the last year and a half with small tweaks here and there, and we've had no issues out of them. Uh, and yeah, we're just super proud of it. That's why we now, almost three years later, are finally to the point where we're ready to unveil it and release it to you guys in the market. So without further ado, TQ, we know we have a seven and a half inch blocking plate. There is no holes in this unit because we do not want anything to go through it. If you have a hole, that means debris can go through it, into the beds, towards people, no matter how small they are, that's an opening. Uh, for us personally, that is a, a, a flaw, if you know what I'm saying. What's the point of having a shoot blocker if it's not actually blocking the material coming towards it, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead, TQ. Uh, I guess finagle this how you need to. Do you wanna go on that side maybe a little bit, or? Or can they come on this side of us, or? Uh, the lighting would probably okay. be kind of bad. Okay, we'll come, I'll come on this side, kind of. So this is just gonna be eyeballing this one up, but this is actually going back onto our mower, hence, now you guys know why we haven't had a shoot blocker on that mower. We'll have one back on it. I just needed to take product back and forth for testing and yeah, anyways, seven and a half inches here. We need to go one and three quarter inches from top and one three quarter inches from the bottom. And if it's slightly crooked, that'll just be our uh, specialty. This is the very first one, guys. I can't, I can't stress to you enough. I, like I'm holding back from getting emotional just because this is so much work. And stay tuned for the end of this video. I'm gonna actually show you one of our other prototypes we started with a long, long time ago. It seems like forever ago, but in reality, it was probably two years ago. So, <laughs> yeah. So center is gonna be off of the hinge points. Yeah, so they stick out just a little bit on either side. Hey, big shout out to Berlin Science too. He gave us a uh, tool here for uh, squeezing out any uh, bubbles or anything like that. So, ready? I'm ready. All right. It's gonna be straight in my eyes, just so you know. So I'm gonna do <laughs> one and three quarters on my end, and you just eyeball it up center, and then it should be one and three quarters from the bottom as well. Good there. Let me check both ends real quick. No, I think we're good here. You're good? Okay, good. TQ, okay. Who needs a template? <laughs> this is a, a sticky decal for sure. Right. Maybe you want to work uh, some of the bubbles out. So we did not spare any expense, guys. The decal itself is the best material you can pretty much get for any kind of sticker or outside. I told him, I said, you know, I need something that's going to stand up to the weather, to pressure washing, stuff like that. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to directly blast it with a high pressure pressure washer. Uh, overall, the outside stays pretty clean. The inside, as long as you do some maintenance, you know, maybe uh, you know, blow it off after every few mows or whatever, it's going to stand up to the test of time. So there you guys have it. Don't mind that little ding. Like I said, uh, I dropped it in the gravel. It's my fault. You know, can't have anything nice. It wouldn't be a Spencer <laughs> product if it didn't have a scratch, right? This is a manual operating unit, as you guys can see on a lot of our videos. Real quick, uh, I promised you I would show you an older unit from testing periods. Now, do not judge me on this thing because it was kind of chankly put together with uh, a little bit of everything. It's so. fighting over there, isn't it? Yeah. We had to keep things hidden whenever we would film and make sure we weren't showing what we shouldn't have shown. But, you know, at the end, it, it just could not be shown in videos, but we didn't talk about it. But we are excited to bring this to you. All right, without further ado. <laughs> no judgment here, guys. No judgment. Oh. So, a lot of trial, a lot of error. Uh, this was a concept that we tried as well, which honestly worked really well. 
Uh, I just didn't like the movement we got from uh, the, the piece here. So, as you can see, it's been beat up. It's a, a pretty rough mock-up. This was actually a fairly, I think this was version two, uh, and we tested it out. Still got some grass from somebody's lawn. I ran, <laughs> I ran this unit for about two months, uh, found out very quickly, uh, you know, things we needed to change. Uh, one of the big things is a deflector on the inside. So this plate is flat, if you see what I'm saying. This unit's flat, so if you don't have a way of deflecting the grass away, Guess what comes back as the operator, okay? So on the inside there, TQ will point at it. You need a form of deflector there as tight as possible uh, to keep rocks, debris, anything from actually hitting the metal and coming back up at you, whether it's a, a plastic or a metal, which we tried both, and we just thought metal would hold up better long term. Our goal is for you, when you buy a mower, you know, you might trade it in every two, three years, whatever it is. We personally do every two years here at Spencer Lawn Care. Maybe you run them a lifetime. We want you to be able to bolt this thing on and with very little maintenance, you can run this the lifespan of the mower. That's our overall goal and where we hope to get to long term uh, if we're not already there. So figure out share with you guys, share this with you guys. These will go in our office once the shop's built one day. Maybe on the website we'll put the evolution of the flex shoot. Yeah, um, I, I have six other versions, which I don't know if I would share all of them, uh, just because some of them are very similar, but yeah, they're all part of the, tri the trial and error process. Celebrate along with those, because without you, this is not possible as well. I wanna make sure we share in our enjoyment and our celebration with you guys. This is us wanting to provide a better product for the community and for people that do the same thing that we do on a daily basis. I also want to state that personal wise, this has been the most trying three years of our lives. Simply starting another business, growing a business, manufacturing a, a, an entire uh, realm of business that we have never done before. And going into it with the, the idea of, you know, we could, we could fail at this. You know, but also knowing we're Spencers and who we are personal wise, and uh, it's gonna take a lot for us to fail because we truly believe in this and we're truly proud of this. And this is just going to be one of uh, a few products that we released this year. And you might be saying, well, where, where are you gonna release them? Well, we have some bigger news here as well. And I hope you stuck around for the ending of this video. I'm gonna put a clip up here as well so you'll know exactly where we're gonna be, but TQ and myself took a leap of faith and we wanted to get in front of you guys and let you guys that, you know, maybe think you might wanna purchase one for your grandstand or your multi-force and uh, give you a place that you could try it out. So we decided to go to the best place to do that in the green industry and get in front of the most amount of people. So TQ and myself, we're gonna be at the Equip Expo and not as just you know viewers and influencers we're also now going to be there as a product manufacturer a vendor yep i'll yep. put the booth number up here on the screen because it's a little bit long and i don't remember exactly but i'll show you on screen as well where you can come find us and we hope all of you stop by take a photo share in our our celebration check it out let us know what you think we don't we don't think we have everything figured out uh we know we'll make faults but you know, we're willing to fix those and move forward and produce the best product in the green industry. So, yeah, there you guys have it. That's, That's the big exciting. The big unveil. So I saw the light kick on and I knew the battery went dead right when I was in my <laughs> best moments of my speech. He started crying and everything. No. <laughs> Anyways, we wanted a spot for you to be able to come test it out, try it out and uh, let us know your feedback and what you think. And uh, we're doing that at the Equip Expo this year, Louisville, Kentucky. Remember, you guys can also use, use code SPENCER to save yourself 50%. I think they're $12.50 for tickets right now. Yep, until That's September 7th. Until September 7th? Yep. So you got like a little over a week or so. I got a birthday coming up, so. Yeah, you do. This is exciting. I was actually, old. I was considering launching it on, the or on my birthday, but uh, 
I want to say I love you. Thank you for dealing with all the headaches. And I know I've been a pain in the rear and super Never. stressed out and Never. late nights and early mornings and running multiple businesses uh, and trying to grow a business. I'm going to leave you at that. We'll see you back here tomorrow. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys and girls. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye. Bye bye.